You know what I'm looking forward to, Robin? What's that? You! Another one of the <laughs> nicest places oh, in America. I love that substitute judge for this. Yeah. We've got another good one, Michael. Another good one this morning. As we count down to Thursday's big reveal, we partnered with our friends at Reader's Digest to find communities that embody values like kindness, hope, and respect. And as I said, it was so much fun to be a judge for something like this. And TJ, you got to visit one of my favorite entries. No, I have to tell you, they said, hey, TJ, Robin wants you to go to one of the nicest places in America. So I, I grabbed my swim trunks, right? <laughs> but then they, then they said, you're going to Baltimore. Hmm. And then they said, you're going to a library. Oh. Huh. So you have to forget everything you think you know about Baltimore and libraries. And then you will find one of the nicest places in America. Inside this library, it's story time. Is he bigger than those shrimp? We've been coming to story time since she was six months old. The library is our place. From a book buggy to a huge range of free family classes, it's a place that has something for everyone. I like to read books. My favorite part about the library is the computer. And it's a place you're sure to be greeted with a smile. Do you still have a librarian that tells people to shush? <laughs> um, I would say that we're a little less on the shush side okay. and a little bit more on the come on inside. <laughs> It's the Enoch Pratt Free Library in Baltimore, Maryland. It's made up of 22 branches spanning the city's many diverse neighborhoods, including some in need of a little love. People do oftentimes hear Baltimore and they know a, a history of Baltimore. It can be a rough place, can be a dangerous place, can be a place with high crime. Some of your branches are smack dab in the middle of some pretty rough neighborhoods. Are these considered by some in the community safe places? And when you have neighborhoods that are challenged, that have had disinvestment, um, it's important to have libraries as anchors. It's an anchor for Kendra Owens, who calls this place her second home. How often are you in the library? Every day. Every day? Every day. Last year, the library launched a social worker in the library program, teaming up with the University of Maryland Baltimore's School of Social Work to connect people facing tough times with life-changing support without ever having to leave the library. <laughs> Kimberly Street is Kendra's social worker. You've talked to her about things that you even said you haven't talked to your own sister about. Right. This is a friend of yours now. She's like my second mother. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, mother. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm <laughs> You were supposed to say your other sister. Right, exactly. <laughs> but to see what makes this place so special, you have to go outside of the library. So even if some folks in Baltimore can't make it to a free public library, the library's resources will actually come to them. This mobile job center is a welcome site in a lot of neighborhoods, but it's also a bad sign because they only bring this thing to areas that are at least 50% unemployment. Inside, computers and a mobile librarian. People come on and they're really looking for help. And then when you say, I have that, it's free. Come on, just sit down for a little bit. We'll work on this together. You can see the relief on their faces. In the past 18 months, this career center on wheels has helped write nearly 1,000 cover letters and resumes, serving more than 17,000 men and women in the community, including Albert Brown. This is your neighborhood. You said you, you yes. grew up going to church here. Yes. This is your neighborhood. At 57 years old, he says he's never had a resume until now. I'm going to help you create one right now. It was amazing. It was yeah. amazing. We need this kind of thing out here to help grown folks and to help young people. Oh, brother. So this was a good stop for you today. Yes, it was. Man, good okay. luck to you, my brother. God bless you. Really, God bless you, All man. Right. Good luck. Baltimore is filled with really wonderful people that are trying to make their lives better. I don't know what gets nicer than a place that just wants to help people and a place that is making a difference in all of the neighborhoods that it serves. Come to the library. And um, I guess, oh, by the way, they have books, right? Um, but it's not a traditional library. And a story we heard there, some, uh, some of the library folks heard about a guy in a wheelchair who didn't, he lived on the second floor. He had to park his wheelchair at the bottom every time he got home and crawled up the stairs. Oh, wow. They got together and they had a lift installed. They organized and had that. That's a librarian yeah. doing that for somebody that's a patient. So that's not stuff you hear. Yes. Libraries are community centers. Community yeah, centers really, really are. And that was one of the things, guys, when I saw all the entries, it just jumped out at me. The, the mandate of this 
library is to give people a second chance. That's their mandate. And second chance, I mean, you have, they have so many stories I've heard about people who are coming out of prison, who don't know how to use computers, don't know how to put together a resume. And they see them float around the library for a while, and then they'll finally ask for help. They don't, they don't go to them and pressure them. Mm -hmm. They come, so they help people even expunge records sometimes. They didn't even know they could do that. They have a lawyer in the, uh, in the library as wow. well to help folks with second chances. A story about a guy who couldn't even read. They helped him read, and you know what? He came in and said, I, I could pay my bill on time for the first time because I could read it for the oh, first wow. time. So second chances, people on addiction and with addiction issue. I mean, you name it. Mm -hmm. Every story is not about checking out a book. They have yeah. books. You could do that. But this is the future, as you say. A lot of communities around the country and libraries are going to this being community centers, not just the traditional yeah. library we're used to. Mm -hmm. and Building lives. Wow. Yeah. And I can't imagine for you oh. having to go through all these and choose, you have but this no one idea. is, yeah, is no. really special. Yeah, Great really job, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, TJ. You brought the story no. to life. I'm, I'm glad. You did. You did. I'm glad I put up the swim trunks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could have done without the swim trunk, yes. line, but that's okay. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.